guys, this is Shell with Creative Shell Bear. Today we're going to do this project. It's a button tree, button art tree, uh, with a painted background and blue on button. Okay, so this is an 8x10 canvas that I picked up at Walmart. And what I'm going to do is I have some colors over here. I just used some, um, got some at Walmart. They're about 50 cents each. I got coal blue and white. That's what I'm going to do the sky out of. And then I have some orange and some kind of gold for the leaves on the ground. And then we have some green and some brown also for the ground. So let's get started. I think I will start on the ground first. Sure, just brown to kind because of it's kind of fall. The, tr the buttons that I'm using are kind of fall, so we have some orange and we have yellow and we have, you know, a few green. With my okay, work surface, is I just covered it with a little bit of wax paper, just some that I happen to have in my kitchen drawer. Oops, I got a little bit of brown there. That's okay. We'll just blend it on through, and you won't really tell. It gives it a little bit more dimension. So I'm just going to set this aside, let this dry, and I shall be back. Thank you. Okay, so this is pretty dry, and what I did is I went back and kind of did some more blue, and then I kind of pounced some uh, clouds on there, and I'm going to kind of show you that with the... Uh, um, the ground. You know, it's kind of fall, it's the fall scene, and I wanted just a touch of green, and we're gonna, then we're going to use some oranges and stuff like that. But since it's fall, I don't want too much green. Okay, and then we're going to tap in some orange, just to kind of look, you know, mimic the look of um, orange and yellow, the uh, look of leaves on the ground. Kind of like that you know you can do it I mean this is your project you can certainly do it however you want to if you don't want a fall tree you can use you know make it a spring tree or winter tree whatever you're looking for kind of whatever you feel like doing right then and this is kind of where we're gonna or we're gonna have the tree trunk come up from there that looks pretty good to me Okay, and I'm just using some old paint brushes that I have around the house, you know, whatever size I think I need, and we're going to come here and just kind of come up with a tree trunk. Oops, that's okay. Good thing about paint is it's pretty forgiving. Just add to it. We want a lot of branches because we're going to add all those buttons. And what I'll do at the very end, I'll come back and put some more of the grass kind of growing up on the tree. Okay, let's do it with that. I will just kind of come up here. really big tree. This kind of reminds me of the mountains or the trees here in Colorado. It's just so beautiful out. The colors are starting to change right now. I'm going to go to a smaller brush because I want a little bit smaller branches. You know, just to kind of, that feels much better. And we're just going to put all the buttons all the way around it. Let's see, let's put one here. Kind of want a pretty good coverage. 
some of the buttons will go, you know, on top of it. And so they will cover a bunch of that up. So it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect or anything like that. Let's see. Should I have one like that? Like that. That one a little thicker. I want just a little touch in here to you. I think it's looking pretty good. You want it kind of, you want it kind of, um, you know, even all the way around so it's kind of not one sided or anything like that. Just kind of. I mean, you don't have to be an artist to do anything like this. I'm. You know, I'm just kind of dabbling and kind of making it whatever I want it to be. And let's see, and I'm going to have the buttons kind of fill it up right there. Let's kind of, yeah, let's do this. Maybe just a touch there, a little bit there. Kind of make that a little bit closer so the buttons are kind of closer to each other and stuff. Kind of make it full when we put the buttons on. this one out just a touch. Shouldn't really have too many straight lines. There aren't very many straight lines in nature. Just something, you know, there's so many different little things. Okay, and when we get back, I will have, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the um, grass. And when we get back, it'll be dry and we'll be ready for our buttons. Thank you guys. Okay, so everything is dry now, and I started adhering some of the buttons. And I, right now, I'm just kind of putting them in without, you know, just making sure that a bunch of the colors are kind of spread out, so I don't have a lot of them. And these are just buttons that I got that I have laying around the house, you know, that I've accumulated over the years. We're just going to use a whole bunch of them and just make a really pretty full tree. Okay, so, you know, just continue putting them on there wherever you want them. You can layer them. It kind of makes a huge... You just want it really full. A huge uh, difference, I think, to have them kind of layered. And you'll see that in this other one that I've done. I really liked the look of it. And you can certainly use a stencil if you didn't want to draw your um, the tree, or if you had like a big um, cutout or something like that. You could do that. I just did it. You know, I just did it freehand. I didn't really have any stencils or anything that I was particular about so but if you have like a uh, if you have a cr cricket or something you can certainly make a tree if you have the right cartridge make a tree that kind of you know is big enough and you can glue that down especially for kids you know that'd be really fun and I think it's coming along pretty nicely. It's kind of filling up here. Kind of covering up my little imperfections on the tip of my trees here. If you had, you know what else would be really cute is if you had like little um, acorns or something like that, you know, a little squirrel sticker. Which I'm sure I have one somewhere. fill this part up here just a touch. Boy, those strings are horrible. You can pull the strings now or you can use a hot air or a hot gun, hot air gun, dry tool, or a hot a blow dryer, sorry. You can use that later to kind of 
get rid of those. I think that might be what I do because I kind of get overwhelmed with them a little bit here. Let's continue. I still have a small pile over here. So I think when we're done, it's going to be really full and pretty. I love that button. It's kind of two-tone. Kind of reminded me of an autumn leaf. Now I seem to have a bunch of orange, which is perfect. Again, be really careful with that hot glue gun. Mine is a low temp hot glue gun, so it's not as hot as some of them are, but if you're using a high temp, you can really cause some serious damage, serious um, blisters and stuff. You definitely want to be careful with using that, especially because each one of these has, has holes. You know what else you could do? You could do, um, Sequins. Wouldn't that be pretty? I have to try that. You might want like a sticky tool or a, if you do sequins, sticky tool or a pair of tweezers or something that helps you pick them up. Might be kind of hard. So what do you think? I think we still have about 15 buttons or so. those on there. I kind of like in the way it looks. It's really filling out and out. See that one the bottom? And I got that one where I didn't want it to be. Boy, these little glue strings are a little much, I tell ya. Throw on some. Now I'm kind of layering. I think it's kind of full enough, you know, where I kind of like to add a little bit of layers and stuff. You make it as full or as lean as you want. You know, that's what makes it yours. finish up here and when I come back I will uh, show you the completed project and the surprise project that I did earlier. Okay so I finished up here and what I did is I when I was done because I had so many of the little strings I went in and I blasted it with my hair dryer and that really helped it getting getting rid of a lot of the strings. So this is the finished picture and I think it turned out really well really full. You can always make it fuller if you want, but I like it and I think it turned out well. And I have a ghost, which I think is really cute. Uh, what I did is I start, when I started it, I did the sun or the moon first and then I did the blue around the moon and after everything was dry, the blue and the moon, I went back and I pounced on it and I like we pounced the grass around the tree. So you can certainly do either one of these and thank you guys for watching and have a great day.